Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wobble Dogs, here in our Lombarkatory Adventures, where little Strabebe is crawling around in the background. Oh my goodness, Strabebe, I need to get you like a lot more. What the heck kind of good Florin do you have already? I was gonna say that we need to hurry and get like Strabebe some more gut flora that really happens to be built around having lots of cool patterns. Uh, but I forgot that they've actually been like consuming a lot of the extra flora that has been bouncing around. Ooh, black pattern! <gasps> yes! Radium! They've been eating a lot of radium! I don't really want them to have a yellow body, but I will totally take like a little Strabebe puppy who happens to be colored with all sorts of little black spots that would be so adorable! And they have a lot of extra extra strong bacteria, like the normal gut bacteria, but with a little plus sign. Wide stance, inverted snout, intense pattern, and narrow snout from the bacto bacto. Strawberry, oh, strawberry? Strawberry! Oh yeah, they're gonna turn out to be really amazing, you guys. We're gonna keep a good eye on Strawberry. But all right, so welcome back, my friends. We are carrying on with our Wobble Dog adventures, even though things have gotten a little bit sad because we had an entire generation pass us by, and I'm still kind of stunned by that. Uh, we lost so many Wobble Dogs. Behold, Oxalotl actually like passed away. Little Squash passed away. We had so so many of the pixel puppies pass away. Mysticorn, are you doing okay? I'm worried a little bit about Mysticorn, you guys. I feel like she's not getting quite as much like healthy growth as needed. I'm gonna let her go ahead and take herself wherever she wants to go uh, before we go ahead and puppet her. Can she not? Does she need stronger legs? You guys, I think we need to give Mysticorn like thicker legs. So what is it that gives the puppers the thicker legs? Let me double check. I know I should remember, but there's just so many of these different bacterium. And this is so cool because like we have all of these gut bacteria for our wobble dogs, right? Well, the really cool thing is in real life, we host more bacteria than you can actually like count. There, there are literally millions and millions of bacteria inside of your little gut right now. And they are actually the main drivers of so much of our health. I read a book called Fiber Fueled at the beginning of the year at, from Dr. B and oh my gosh, like he does great podcasts. And I was ironically obsessed with gut flora even before we started playing Wobble Dogs. But no, I'm really obsessed. But all right, let's go ahead. Mysticorn, I think we do need to go ahead and give you some thicker legs, which means, ooh, an alien fruit, yes. Okay, Mysticorn, let's go ahead and, oh, she's so happy, she was getting pets. She's like, I want all the pets. Oh, now she's snoozing. <gasps> you guys, she just wanted to lay in the greenery and she wanted to have a little nap. That was so cute. Here, we'll hatch Coconut Strudel so that Coconut Strudel can hang out with her. All right, Coconut Strudel. Coconut Strudel, I forgot you had three eyes. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot our dog had three eyes, but I literally forgot our dog had three eyes and now I am once again slightly aghast at this situation. Um, and we're still working with the really long legs, aren't we? Oi, who ate that? Mr. Horn, was it you? Was it Coconut Strudel? Where did the, but nobody has the gut bacteria. Strawberry, did you, I think Strawberry may have eaten it? Like, what? I didn't even have a chance to go ahead and try to give it to our puppers. Well, that's okay, I suppose. All right, we'll clean this up and then let's actually put down some alien fruit in here for just a little bit. <gasps> Strawberry! Strawberry! Oh, she's playbowing! And Strawberry actually found themselves uh, some ghost ectoplasm, so we might have some really cool random mutations going on over there. All right, but let's pop over. And I need to feed these puppers. So, heckin, that's the wrong room. I don't want to build in that room. I want to build in this room. There we go. So I do need to feed these puppers. So I'm going to go ahead and try to find a spot like right here that I can put down some, okay, honeycombs. Yes, I didn't mean to do too many honeycombs, but we'll put down some honeycombs. And what I actually wanted to put down was the alien fruit. But you know, I was thinking fruit. No, 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 no. We leave everything nice and messy in here so that all the puppies... <gasps> Rain bottle! Rain bottle's getting old! No, friends! Okay, okay, quick. Uh, okay, think, 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 think. Okay, I need to pull out this machine in order to go ahead and get the alien fruit. 
An alien fruit, you give thick legs and glossy sheen. And also this one that gives you green coloration, purple body, orange nose and ears, tiny nose and long ears. Okay, that sounds amazing. I can't, what? what? <gasps> Since when has this thing been here? We have so many more things to unlock than I realized, guys. Okay, so we're gonna put down a bunch of alien fruit for a little while and see if maybe working on getting some thick legs will help us. Uh, but we do have something a little alarming that we need to worry about. Okay, come here. Come here, Mr. Corn. For for a puppy with two heads, it's kind of fascinating. Here you go. Here, come eat this. Come eat this. I know, I know. Oh, you're so happy. Mr. Corn just kind of stumbles around a lot. Alright, we'll go ahead and pray. So that was almost all entirely glossy stuff, actually. And then we're gonna let them... Okay, I think they may have gotten a tiny little bit of the stuff that they needed in order to get the thick legs. But we're gonna let them puppet. <gasps> Look at Strawberry carrying that! Oh, Strawberry, you remind me so much of Little Potato and Little Squash. Oh, Little Strawberry. Keeping that lineage going strong. Let's see. Oh, Strata! Strata's doing so good down here, trying to carry on our, puppy pix our Pixel Puppy lineage. But make it so that finally the pixel puppies might be able to go ahead and actually get themselves some better legs too. It's really ironic we're working on those groups trying to get their legs like shorter and thicker. And then we have corn dog. <gasps> corn dog, good dog. Good dog dig. Good dog, dig that up. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. You also buried your own poop, which I think is really hilarious. But Corn Dog is also ready to go ahead and to puppet as well. Uh, I'm gonna praise him for being, I mean, he's a little bit sassy to the other dogs, but he's being a good golden giraffe, like lineage starter over there. All right, meanwhile, little straw baby, you are actually ready to puppet as well. How about you go ahead and eat this honeycomb that you've been hoarding? Why are you so cute, straw baby? Why are you so cute? Who knows? All right, we'll go ahead and puppet straw baby. Goodness gracious, we have a lot of puppies to suddenly puppate. And we do have a lot of puppies to go ahead and start hatching too. Let me see, what were our most recent ones? A lot of the pixel puppies. <gasps> and this one! How could I forget this one? Oh my gosh, with the little face. I just really like the way this one looks and it's actually supposed to be a sibling to Coconut Strudel, to Strabebe, to uh, Mysticorn. So we're gonna hatch this two-headed puppers. And then I need to come over and, oh, there's an egg waiting in here. Yes, good job, guys. I actually need to feed. Drip, are you playing? Oh, Drip, you're playing with a capsule. I'm going to praise you for cleaning. And you got the X wall. Thank you. Oh, look, it's Rue. Rue, wait, wait, wait. I want to praise, not scold. There we go for, for popping out. Uh, yeah, it looks like we actually need to be really, really feeding our ghost dogs as well as the dog, the ghost guard dogs. <gasps> Drip, you just laid a capsule. Good job. Okay, I didn't want to praise you for pooping, but I guess probably laying a capsule feels about the same way. Big snake wall. Okay, that sounds really cool. We might change this into the big snake wall in just a second, because that, that sounds really awesome. And I imagine, actually, the snake wall you could interpret as being a really long caterpillar dog. All right, so let's come over, and we need to put in garlic bread for the most part for these guys because we're just trying to go like ridiculously huge on that tail big tail and big nose it's just kind of like the perfect thing for this group also it seems like the um ghost dogs enjoy garlic bread <laughs> i don't know why it brings me so much pleasure just to make this gigantic pile of garlic bread it just cracks me up all right and then maybe a little bit with the spooky food too I'll try putting this kind of at the back for just a second. Because um, I think we were also trying thick legs, glossy sheen, and little. Okay, double eggs might actually help out some of the dogs who need thicker legs. Uh, if we want short body, yellow coloration, thick legs, inverted snout, wide stance, narrow stance, intense pattern. Oh. Narrow stance, intense pattern, narrow stance, metallic sheen. Hmm. Let's put down some candied apples too because I feel like that's good for a bunch of the ghost. But then we need to not take too long because once we get a drip here, you need a little attention, don't you? You're kind of going a little, a little wonky. Oh, drip, you have all of that caffeinated energy that has been here since Weber arrived. All right, we're gonna pick drip up. All right, come here, drip. 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have you eat this. Good puppers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Drip, why are you always 800% energy? You're just cracking me up. And what is all of this strap? Commonly found in waste, this floor is unhelpful and potentially dangerous. Okay, I'm a little worried about Drip and Rain Puddle having this puppy now, but I need to like let them have a puppy. And interior, vaguely paw shaped, I think it's nice. Bacto Bacto. Uh, the big nose gene seems to be really common in Rain Puddle's line, but I don't think we've had a puppy between Rain Puddle and Drip yet, and we definitely need to, so let's do this. I mean, they had a fertilized egg waiting for us, and we need Ghost Guard dogs. So here comes a new puppy! And this time we just get to choose after our own heart for a dog we think would be good for the ghost dog lineage. Uh, all right, let's see. Well, I love that we have some of them who are white and then we've got some of them. I want those multiple tails. Always want to keep that multiple tail stuff going. Oh, look at these puppers! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got a good selection here. Um, a lot of energy. I'm, I'm sensing a lot of energy and it looks like we've got an absolute fluff butt bucket dog right over here. There's a lot of tails. It looks like it's just two tails. Okay, this one's sassy. I really like this one. Look, it has gotten... Look at, look at what it's done. It was just yanking the tail of this other dog. Okay, you're kind of hilarious. This one only has two tails or else I would love to go ahead and pick it. Uh, but I think we want, like, this slightly chaotic one right over here. Unless we can maybe make the legs a little shorter. Huh. You know what, guys? Let's try going for a, a really unexpected pupper. So we're gonna go ahead and crossbreed for a little while. Until we see, like, okay, what hidden genes might decide to pop out while we're doing this. Which puppers look the same. Okay, yeah, like a lot of these guys right now kind of look the same. Oh, look, we're getting slightly thicker legs on some of these dogs. That might really help us out, but we're also losing some legs. That's not going to help us out. And why is it that we always lose the right leg and never the left? We need to lose the left leg for one of our achievements. All right, how are we doing now, guys? I think a little better. It's somewhat hard to tell. Here's a thicker legged dog. And then here's a multi-tailed dog. Let's see, maybe something really unexpected might pop out. Okay, we're getting some interesting coloration. I love that this one definitely has Weber's uh, eternal caffeinated energy. And I like how this one has multiple tails but thicker legs, okay. So let's actually go with these two as our ghost guardian dogs. Interesting. Okay, so we're losing some legs, but I feel like, and the nose is not as big as I would be hoping for, but I feel like we're getting somewhere. I just really want to have those multiple tails, too. All right, what do we have now? I think we're actually ending up with some pretty interesting ghost guard dogs. Whoa, okay, that one just got yeeted over there. Didn't mean to do that. I kind of like this one. I kind of think that it's just like a solid specimen of a ghost guard dog. Huh. Oh, but this one's like barking and getting my attention. Oh man. Oh, this is where it gets hard. Now this one's barking. Oh, they bork. All right, we're gonna crossbreed these two. Gosh, it's really hard because it feels like you're picking a favorite puppy of some kind. All right, one of them turned into a pink dog. These guys are just really yeeting themselves around now, having a great time. Oh my gosh, come on, look at this one. Doing backflips. It's got good solid toesies. Okay. I'm tempted. I'm getting really tempted now, you guys. Oh, this one just like walks right up to me. Oh, picking a new ghost guard dog is kind of hard. Oh, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and pick this one because it definitely can at least locomote itself around the place. And I feel like that'll be a good addition to the graveyard. I just don't know like who else we should put in there. I know who else we should put in the graveyard. You guys, how could I forget? Of course. Of course, there is actually a puppy that we absolutely should be adding into the graveyard. Uh, Strata, hang on one second, because we do have, I need to look carefully. I know it's in here somewhere. I know, oh my gosh, I forgot about Big Potato. Okay, we need to hatch Big Potato as well. And then I, right here, 
here! Look, you guys! It's one of Pillow's children! So we actually do have another ghost guard dog that we could hatch in there, which makes me wonder if this one is a little bit too similar, but I feel like there's a lot of Weber energy in this one. For sure. I didn't even know. I thought it only had three legs, but it actually has the four legs at the back. Okay, that is so Weber. That is just so absolutely Weber. Yeah, we've got we've got some good mixes going on in here, guys. I think that this is gonna be quite fun. But alright, so I'm very happy with this. We're making progress. Feeding all of the puppies, Mr. Corn, little straw baby. And like corn dog are gonna be ready to hatch. Strat is gonna be ready to hatch. We're really taking care of coconut strudel, trying to get in like several of the new genes. I can't believe coconut strudel. <gasps> we should breed some of Weber's distant. <gasps> no, rain puddle. Rain puddle, no. All oh, puppers. Okay, you guys, that's it. We need to go ahead and we need to add in like Rain Puddle and Drip's Child so that we'll be able to have somebody join in here and help to take care of all the Ghost Guard dogs as the next generation clearly needs to be added in. Oh, I can't believe how many puppers we've just seen come and go recently. This has been so hard. This has been so, so hard. But all right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna need a new like rain centric name for this little one and i wonder if there's actually a way for me to try to turn them blue i'm gonna give that a little bit of a thought drip don't you dare you're gonna waste all of that because you're gonna throw up and and you sit over here with the flowers and think about that for a minute okay but all right guys thank you so much for joining me on this adventure if you guys could do please leave a like for the newest of uh, newest arrivals of the ghost card dogs <laughs> while i go ahead and try to convince drip to sit Drip, sit. That's right, that's right. Come back here and sit. I know it's kind of hard with all those legs and that tail, but good job and stay. Sit and stay. <laughs> all right, no, 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 okay. I'm gonna have to hold him because he doesn't want to do that. But all right, so I will see you guys next time. Stay curious, everyone. Bye-bye.